Hi everyone, it still feels like I've woken up on the wrong planet again today. I should stop uh, reading the newspapers. And I'm never, we're never going to buy them again, but we do, we do get given them. Anyway, today we, oh, I was going to make, we were going to make a phone call to Transco. We found out that Transco doesn't really exist. It, it was and is owned and operated by the National Grid. <clears throat> so we're going to call the National Grid and ask them some questions about electricity supply and uh, we'll see what happens. Do you want to make a phone call? I'll pass it to you. This one's for you Mario and everybody else. If it works that is. There we go. Three. Hi Ben, uh, is that uh, the National Grid? Um, I was just, uh, I googled uh, National, well it was Transco that I wanted to speak to, to, yeah, excuse we're the same, we're the same company. you're the same company, so just, it's just a new name, oh it's, it's a new name, yes, oh okay, um, I just wanted to ask a, a few questions if that's okay then, okay, um, sure. uh, what was the first question, um, who is the actual uh, electricity supplier and distributor for the Midlands area in the UK? Yeah. As well, Wales and, uh, and uh, West England. Does National Grid own a company called Western Power and and uh, Northern Gas? No. Oh, because I looked up for the supplier for, uh, say, the East Midlands um, region, which I'm in, and um, it comes up with Western Power, the uh, distributor yeah. and supplier. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't distribute a lot of electricity, only, only a bit, um, but we mostly distribute gas for the whole nation. Oh right, okay. So um, anyway, I've got. A, I could ask you this question: If National Grid are Transco and you supply that, you mainly supply the gas. So yep. it, if I want to call about uh, electricity, I would call Western Power, would I? It's the region you're in. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I think they are. Anyway, I've got some questions about gas. I've currently uh, moved into a new property, and um, I've got a gas and electricity meter fitted. They're made by Siemens. Um. Who fitted these meters? Um, would it be the uh, the current one of the big so-called six energy giants? It, it, it sort of depends, really. Um, whoever, uh, basically, we install service connections. We can install service connections, and the gas supplier, whoever that may be, installs the meter. Right. I we, thought Transco we, were the gas suppliers. No, we're the gas transporters. Yeah, all we the all the pipes. We don't own the, we don't own the, um, the actual gas. You don't own the actual. Where, where does it? Where does the gas come from? It comes from the, the pipes that we own. Oh right. So who supplies the gas? Well, it's it's, it's either drilled by BP or um, an energy company that um, sees and it is bought by British Gas and then sell it to ourselves. But we just transport it. So uh, it's bought by British Gas and then sold to National Grid Transco. No, sold to the. Oh, I don't quite understand. Uh, let, uh, let me try a different question, Ben. I wonder if you can help me with this one, because it seems quite confusing. Um, if I wanted the gas meter removed from my premises, uh, I've yeah. got letters from NPower, so I guess they installed it, or they, the, 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 um, it's supplied through them. Yeah. If I call NPower and ask them to remove the meter um, and fit my own, um, is this against the law? To remove the meter? To, have them no, to, to ask them to remove it. You can remove the meter, but it will be off gas if they do. If you do. Uh, is it possible to fit, for me to fit my own meter and bill National Grid? No, no, it has to be done by a gas safe registered installer. Oh, of course, I would have a gas, gas safe uh, registered installer um, fit a new meter. I was just yeah. wondering if it was against the law for me to, uh, to buy a meter and fit it myself. No, uh, uh, yes, that, I think no that's against the law. Sorry, Ben, is that no or yes? Oh yes, uh, of course, yeah, I would have them f uh, fit it properly with a certificate and everything, a gas safety yep. engineer. Yes. So if, it's, if you're gas safety certified, then you can. But oh, if you're not, then it's legal. Oh, so yeah, as, as long as I buy a meter and have it fitted by a gas safety professional, that's okay. Yep. Yeah. Then uh, who would I send the meter reading to? Your gas supplier, the people that pay you, pay your gas to. 
Uh, but I've, I've, I'm going to ask them to remove their meter and fit my own, you see. Oh, well, we, we know a chap that's uh, already done this. He's, he's called National Grid, and he's asked um, if it's OK to fit his own meter, obviously by a gas safety professional. And they said, yes, it's not against the law. And he actually bills, well, he sends, he, he had it zeroed, and he sends them a, a, a meter reading every three months and asks Transco National Grid to bill him for the, uh, for the gas and electricity used. Yeah. So, um, so I, I just want to uh, confirm uh, that you said that if I get a gas safety engineer to fit my own meter, it's not against the law. Sorry, can you read that? It's not against the law if I get if I buy my own meter and get a gas safety uh, registered gas safety engineer to fit it. Okay, I'm just going to check with you on that one. Stay with me. No. Thank you. Sure, this chap knows what's going on. Yes or no, no, yes. Well, it's certainly interesting. He's making sure he's not sticking, tricking himself up there. Now, put it on mute so he can't hear, just in case, because he's playing music. Could still be listening to us. Yeah. But, um, there you go. It sounds like. So they, uh, they own the pipes. Hmm. He didn't know who owns the gas. Well, he's just, uh, he's, he's not that far up. He's not going to know what's really going on, is there? Hmm, but it's interesting. interesting he's gone to find out. And of course he has to come back with no, because there is no law that says you can't have your own meters fitted. And he said I have to contact the gas supplier in order to uh, send them the meter reading. Of course as well then, if you've actually fitted your own meter, you could, in, in theory, still send the original spots, for instance end power, the meter readings. Yeah. Right? But they would have no reason to come or no ability to come and get a, 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 a warrant of entry to check on the meter because it's not their property. Ah, that's a good point. Interesting. See, because they only come and have a look at the meter because it's their property. You're, you're in charge of their property, so they go and get a, a warrant of entry to fit a prepayment meter or whatever because they're just exchanging their property, the normal meter, for a prepayment meter. Hmm. And of course, if it's your meter and you've got them to remove theirs and that, then there's no reason for them to get, even attempt, in fact if they did attempt to get a, pre, um, a warrant of entry, they would actually have to commit perjury in court. Mm -hmm. the, the other question I want to ask, again, is if, um, if Transco National Grid have got the, the pipes and they own the pipes, where, who owns the gas? Where is it coming from? Mm -hmm. He said, oh, they just dr drill it and then it could be BP or Shell. We, yeah, we, we just, we just t take it down our pipeline, yeah, so, of course you do. So they sounds like, down the sounds like a bit of a haphazard free. mix of stuff that, doesn't it? Oh, we don't know, they just send it out any old any old time. So they, they supply it to the energy companies, oh. but who have they bought it from? Sounds like he's uh, having a good old chat about this, doesn't he? It does, doesn't it? We like to ask the questions that most people don't. Hello, sir. Hello there, Ben, is everything OK? Yes. It can be through a gas phase engineer, um, but if it's, if it's just like exchanging a meter, replacing one, an old one with a new one, yes. you need to go through the gas supplier to do that. And um, the gas supplier are National Grid, yeah? No, we transport the gas. Oh, the I'm gas sorry. So, um, who pays National Grid to transport the gas? I believe that the gas suppliers do. The gas suppliers like British Gas, say? Oh, okay. And who, do they buy their gas from you? They buy it from companies like Shell and BP. Do they really? Yes. I wonder. Who, oh, so the. Right. Do, do they do they get it at discount prices then from uh, from Shell and BP? Honestly, I do not know about that. Oh, to pr probably give them a call as well. But anyway, thank you, thank you very much for your uh, your help and advice. I'm still a bit confused, but I I, I do realise that. You see, basically, um, what I want to do is I want to call NPower, have the machine removed, then I will buy a brand new meter. I shall um, get it fitted by a professional gas safety expert, and uh, and that's okay. 
Yeah, but I think the, the, you get the meters from the actual gas supplier. You can buy the, the only ones that supply them. You can the GU four units, aren't they? Or GU GU two? Yeah, you can buy them on eBay for about sixty quid. Right, okay. Uh, I just wondered, um, obviously I don't want anything to do with NPower or, uh, or British Gas. I wanted to uh, send the meter readings um, to Transco. I, I thought they were, they were actually the, uh, no, the we, gas supplier. We don't, we, don't take, we don't do anything with billing for gas. That's always the people who give you the gas. We're just transporting it around the country. Okay. Um, well, I suppose that's it, isn't it? Any questions? No. Right, Ben, thank you very much for your, your help and assistance. Uh, happy okay, happy no New Year, as people say on this planet at this time of year. Yep, OK, thank you. All the best, thank you. Now, that doesn't quite make any sense, because we've come across somebody who said that he called National Grid. Obviously, you, we, you, you can have it removed by whoever owns these Siemens meters. You give, you, you give whoever the uh, alleged supplier is uh, notice to come and collect their property remember this comes back to the car lent stuff yeah it's property. property give them notice to come and collect their property within x amount of time mm -hmm. and if it's not collected you'll have it removed and we'll keep it and uh, store it for them at a, a nominal fee of course and then have your own fitted hmm. right so you can, we know definitely that you can do that mm -hmm. but um, transco national grid uh, are not interested in having uh, the meter reading sent to them because apparently they only. They're pe you, could, you could always still British send them to them the other and ask them to it. send them on to whoever whoever supplied the gas to their pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's piped through like BP and Shell, and of which the big six energy companies buy it from. It doesn't quite make any sense mm. to me. That doesn't. Um, Sounds like a, a very well structured case of let's not give too much information out on the phone because we don't know if they're going to be recording it and putting it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> really? So I think we, well, I think we may, we may make another phone call and one to British Gas, I think, and ask them who they buy the gas from, and uh, we'll ask them the same question: yes. Is it illegal for me to ask you to remove your equipment from my property? And then. Is it uh, uh, remove their, their property, property from, from my yes. property? And then um, let's see if they say, oh, they probably might say it's illegal to fit your own meter. Um, well, I don't think it will, because it's not. And then if I don't, who do I, who supplies, who really supplies the gas? Who, sh who should I send the meter readings to? Mm. They'll probably say themselves. But what happens if I don't want anything to do with the big six? Well, and there's something else, you see. If it's your meter... We forgot to ask him. If it's your meter. They, they, they let the, the gas pass free th through them. And uh, the, the so-called big six pay Shell or BP. No, pay Transco. Oh, they do pay them. Right, OK. It's all over the place today. You were going to say. Yeah, um, of course, if it's your meter... <laughs> You don't have to give the official reading that's on your meter. You could just give it a few units or a few hundred units. Keep your bill nice and small. Remember what you metered, at, what you sent them last time, and then just give them that few hundred units or whatever it is uh. to give a nice, reasonable amount that you probably might may consider is worth paying, rather than what they consider is oh. worth ripping you off about. I'm thinking about doing this. Removal of implied rights of access, no trespass on the uh, on the box outside. Put your own padlock on it when you've got your own meter inside. And if anybody comes and tries to read it from Siemens, mm -hmm. <laughs> you'll say, not allowed. Uh, do you realise that it's a private meter? But if British Gas come and try and read it, or Eon, or PowerGen, um, whatever they call them, NPower, whatever they call themselves this week, if they come and read it, they'll be trespassing, won't they? Yes. So, Especially if we sent them all a, a denial of access yeah. to all the, the companies as so, well. So, NPower, I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to call them. Oh, no, so sorry this phone call's taken a long time, but it's quite interesting stuff. I'm going to get the meter removed. Um, basically, we're going to call NPower and see what they say, and British Gas, and see what they say to these questions as well. Then, I'm going to have the, both meters removed, because I know it's not against the law, buy my own meters, have them fitted by a gas and electric safety person, right, and get the proper certificate and everything. And 
I'm still, I'm going to ask, who do I send the meter reading to? If I'm not interested in the, the big energy six, right, I don't, I, don't, I don't want to know you. I have my own meter, right? It, it, the, the, the stuff is flowing for free. Here's something we should right? ask them. Who, who, who shall I pay, if, pay it for? Because for? he said, oh, it's BP or, 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 or Shell yeah. or whoever's supplying. So how do they know whose gas you're using? Oh, I don't know whether it's BP or Shell or, or Enron or... Or is it just a load of bullshit and these are the ones that actually supply it but they don't want us to know that. All these questions and more will be answered in the near future I'm sure. <laughs> in the next episode of Soap. Yeah, it is a bit of soap isn't it? Right, the Transco don't exist anymore. Try this everybody, do a search in your favourite search engine, Google or whatever, and type in Transco you'll see that you get National Grid come up. Mm. And it does say that if you look in the Midlands, we're in the Midlands area, that Western Power serves the East Midlands, uh, the general inquiry. If anybody wants to uh, to look up uh, National Grid in the East Midlands, the gas supplier is Northern Gas, although he said that they don't own. Maybe we should call Western Power. Mm. Let's give, we'll get back to you in two minutes. We're going to call Western Power and ask him some questions. Yeah, this is part one. Stay tuned for part two.